Hello community! Today we talk about a very simple topic, AGI. And you know what? I am afraid of AGI. But I guess I didn't notice until today. So I ask myself, what does AGI look like? And here we have it. A dark monster luring me in the background of my fear that I will lose my job, I will lose everything, and this is AGI. And then I remember that there is priming, and priming is the psychological term that describes the subtle influence of someone's behavior or perception due to a prior exposure to some specific stimuli. And I remember that on the internet, AGI is always like a dangerous thing to happen. And I said, my goodness, my fear is maybe grounded in the priming that is happening on the internet when I have a look at data, different videos. So I decided, hey, I reprime myself. And I started with AGI as an absolutely genius imposter. And I said, hey, for those moments when someone or something seems brilliant at first glance, but doesn't quite live up to the hype. And I said, hey, wait, AGI, an astronomically grandiose imagination. Perfect for describing some widely creative, but utterly impractical idea. And then I had it, astronomically grandiose imperfection. An idea that is so ambitiously and grandly flawed, it reaches a level of noticeable distinction. It's a playful way to describe some endeavors that are impressive in their ambition, in their scale, making them memorable, not just for their success, but for their spectacular shortcomings or overreaching attempts. And at this time, I had to smile and I noticed, yes, I can reprogram myself. So I came up with my personal favorite for AGI, an adorably grumpy introvert. This is me. A lighthearted nod to those of us who prefer some quiet contemplation, but may not always be the life of the party, but have a unique charm, like I do. Thank you. And then, let's be a little bit more precise, AGI. The average, general, well, I mean average now, across all the training data of the internet, General, I mean, not a fine-tuned task for a downstream task, but all the different tasks with a real general knowledge. And then we have the I, where the I stands for some humorously characterizes here a group of statistically relevant individuals, oh, individuals who, despite their best efforts, tend to approach tasks and challenges with a unique blend of confidence and cluelessness. So they embody here the spirit of trying hard, but often missing the mark to a lack of understanding or skills. And in this moment, I was ready to approach AGI for me, mid of February, 2024. And I thought AGI represents those moments in life and ambition outpaces my ability leading to endearingly imperfect outcomes that are as human as they are humorously flawed. So my personal image of AGI changed. And this is what GPT-4 did with my instruction, how to create an image of my vision of AGI now. So everybody is talking about Grok, so let's go here, let's change here to the Mixtral 8x7b. Let's insert our little exercise here, and with lightning speed we have an answer. So there's some augmentation here by Grok, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. And the final result is 94% chance that Marcus will have to turn in his homework tomorrow. And also it just took one second. This is wrong. This is factual, not correct. But never mind, we have a second prompt. And in this second prompt, we have here 
a permutation of one sentence, the position of one sentence. Yes, it is thinking, thinking. And just maybe two seconds later, yeah, there's some beautiful text, some beautiful text. And now we have a 42% chance that Marcus will have to turn in his homework tomorrow. And also it took about 4.5 seconds, so really a long time. This answer is wrong, completely wrong. Therefore, we understand speed is not guaranteeing a right answer. But let's be clear, this is not that Grok is not working. Grok is amazing. It's just that the model, the core of this model, the intelligence is not there to solve here this task during inference. There was also this example that chat GPT hallucinates rules. And in this example I've shown you in my last video, it was interesting. And I searched for this myself, I experimented with different models here on this particular training data set that was published in my last video. And I found one system that did a clever trick and was able to solve it. This system defined here the rules. Remember, here are my rules. Those are my rules and I have two facts. And this system defined the rules and did it in a logical way and it mapped it to a Python code. The rules are mapped and the facts are mapped. And then the system, the AI just generated here a Python program to come to the answer. This was the first time I have seen a system being able to do this. And here you have the complete screenshot and you know what system it was? Yes, you know it. Gemini. Impressive, Google. Impressive. And then looking here at the second part of the hallucination where ChatGPT fails here to solve this and now starts to hallucinate facts that are not there. I took this example from the publication. And yes, you guessed it. Here is the complete program. So the system now defined the rules again, a different way, by the way, interesting. And then here is the program in Python and it came up with the correct answer. So suddenly my image of AGI that I was afraid of the beginning of this video, and it was this dark monster in the background, it evolved to something that is with a harmony and closing beautiful in a certain way. Now you understand what I mean with we have to dumb the system down to the human level, to the average, general, individual level where an individual posted on the internet. And if now an LLM was trained on all the internet data on this globe, we have a statistical average, general, individual intelligence. But you know, be aware of AI priming. And this happened to me just minutes ago. Let me explain. I went to ChatGPT and I said, hey, formulate in perfect English that AI system learn human patterns. But we as humans, we are not able to operate on a multi-level logical linguistic structure. We are used to use a linear event of sorts to think about a situation, to analyze a situation, to solve a given task. And this is the training data complexity extracted from all of the internet training data. And then, inside parenthesis, and now I am sarcastic for those people who did not notice that I also have these characteristics. And I said, including here, the multi-temporal logic structures as described in the Facebook posts. And you know what happened? GPT-4 came back and produced this. This is heavily biased towards a positive AI self-presentation. I don't know how to say this. Look what happened. AI describes itself as being able to navigate multi-level logical linguistic structures. 
which is not the case and not true, as I showed you in my last video. But humans typically employ a linear progression of sorts <clears throat> to analyze situations and address tasks. And this divergence between the highly intelligent AI and the very stupid linear thinking human underscores the sophistication of the training data that AI system harness. And this data set includes complex multi-temporal logical structures. <laughs> uh, parenthesis, yes, see the beautiful Facebook posts when people post what they eat, what is the new car where they are on holiday. It's a really multi-complex temporal logical structures. <clears throat> Parenthesis closed. Thereby enriching the AI learning matrix with a diversity of cognitive frameworks far beyond the linear thinking characteristics of human cognition. Hey, OpenAI, your fine tuning was a little bit too much, no? I mean, I understand that you want to present your product in the best way, in the best spotlight. But this, this is priming in a beautiful way. Okay. Priming is happening right now to you. I just showed you some linguistic priming, but we can have the same with a visual. This is an image I asked GPT-4 to create for me. A dystopian society under some authoritarian rule, some dictatorship in the future. And it's dark. But it has this feeling of Blade Runner. And it has this feeling of all the Hollywood movies, what's happening with high tech in the future, with the drones flying and, and, and. And I noticed at this moment, that we have a lot of movies about the negative perspective what's going to happen in the future. And if I ask GPT-4 to generate the same for the positive future, look what I got. A Disney image from the 1960s. Like Walt Disney would have drawn this. Look at the car here. This is from the 1960s. Look at this. This is from the Jetson. I don't know, 1970s. This shows us the AI has no visual image data how the perfect future would be for a green urban area. We have much more training data on the internet about some dark future, about some dictatorship, but the system is not able to generate an image about the same technological level of the future. And it took me seven iterations from the last image to this image that I at least have some trees here in this urban area. And I have here some, some green stripes here. Unfortunately, I still have here cars and streets. And why I have no flying cars? I don't know why. But you see, in the training data on the internet, we have no visual data for the AI to learn from this at least not in the same proportion that we have negative, dark, dictatorship, very bad, whatever happening to us. So this is interesting. And I was happy that I got at least here a little bit of a green architecture thing here coming in. So you see, this is visual priming that is happening because we as humans, we did not have this visual richness put on the internet for our AI system to learn. This is a term I learned today for the betterment of society. Yes, my new word. And this is what I ended up with a prompt. And I said, hey, I want to have a futuristic technology-inspired AGI being, let's have a visualization of this thing, designed to symbolize harmony and benevolence in its interaction with humans. This AGI should embody here the integration of advanced technology and kindness, set against the backdrop that merges futuristic cityscapes with a natural greenery, illustrating here a world where technology and environmental stewardship coexist 
in harmony. And it was a real hard task for GPT-4 to come up with an image because this is something it almost had no visual database to. Look at this, what happened here. A huge, humongous android standing here 10 times, 20 times higher than any human being. Dominating here, the atrium here of this urban city, at least with a little bit of green after 10 times, 10 tries to have here a little bit more greenery. But you see, this is priming. And when I told GPT-4 to eliminate here this human AI structure and become more abstract, you know what it created? This image. Kind of a horse running, freedom, prairie, beautiful. So, yeah, yeah, this is visual priming at its best. So what is happening? Our AI, we have currently a linguistic semantic priming. As I've shown you, AI, the response tells you, hey, AI is beautiful. AIs can do tasks humans are not able to because the humans just have this linear thinking. But we as AI system, hey, we are perfect. I love it. We have a visual image content priming because we did not put up enough future images, how we imagine our positive trend of our future for an AI system to learn. And the latest one is here with SOAR by OpenAI, this text to video generation. We have a video virtual reality priming integrating all these video game sequences where, I don't know, you crush with your car against the wall and then you just continue to drive on. Nothing happened. If this knowledge comes into the main body of AI, gee, I don't want to have my co-pilot in my future car having learned here from Sora. So you see, there is something interesting happening. We have a priming on the linguistic, on the visual, and on the video. And the more we use our synthetic AI-generated data set, not just for language, not just for images, but also to create virtual videos for the training data set that we train the next generation of AI on, the more this trend will manifest itself, the more priming will happening. And you know what we are missing out? We are missing out on human generated data. On human data, how we imagine our future to be, how we imagine our society to evolve, to have enough training data for our AI system to be able to learn what we want to achieve in the future. So there you have it, a video completely without any mathematical sort, a real simple video, a video about my feelings about AI, AGI, and I hope there was a little bit of a sort when you think about AGI the next time. Maybe you put a smile on your face. <laughs>